and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen LeBlanc. We have our second Garen deck for Garen Champion Day. Uh, now we're going to be getting more aggressive. We're through Targon, we're over to Noxus. We're going to be pairing with LeBlanc and we're going to be uh, doing some stuff with Reputation. So LeBlanc, of course, is a 5 2 that wants to see us deal a lot of damage. Garen is a 5 5. Again, 5 power, very key there. And so we're going to be uh, having five plus power allies, and that's going to be important for cards like Bloody Business. That's going to be a three of Whispered Words. It has that reputation keyword that we need. Our um, al allies have struck for five plus damage at least four times. That is one of the weirdest keywords I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, <laughs> it's just such it's such a dartboard keyword of just like. You know, just throwing a dart at a dartboard, and it's like, all right, how much damage? Five. How many times? Four. <laughs> just doesn't make any sense. But anyway, sorry, enough of that. Um, yeah, so, you know, like, we're going to have a lot of five-plus power allies. We'll have our Glory Seeker, our LeBlanc, and then Garen, Kato, Cythria. Um, Kato, with the plus three, plus zero, and Overwhelm can even make, like, some of these smaller things. Give them five-plus power. Other cards like Might can do that as well. Um, and then lots of lots of spells in this deck. So besides the three Whisper Words, we still have lots of spells. Only 23 units, 17 spells. Um, so we're going to be mulliganing spells for sure to begin with and looking for our units because we're going to have lots of support for them. All right, so let's give it a try. We're going to uh, play five games in ranked and play some Garen LeBlanc. Hey, Jess. Yeah, yeah, Reputation doesn't have the biggest payoff either. Um. Okay, Thresh Nasus. Hope they're not as fast as the, the last Thresh Nasus opponent that we just got done playing. That's definitely gone. Sharp Sight's a hard one to mulligan. But honestly, I could kind of see keeping Whirling Death. They don't really stop Whirling Death. Whirling Death's actually like really pretty awesome here. Especially with Garen, get that extra strike. The Emperor commands. The land obey. Azir's command. What's my current rank is Diamond four. We just just got to diamond. The world awaits. Forward. The desert by my side. Not a bad hand so far for them. We love it when they run. Of course, we'll challenge that with a two-one. That's right. Run. It's granted vulnerable. I'm not going to use a sharp sight to try to save it. Let it trade. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Now we'll save three spell mana for next round with our uh, Garen and Kato. Bye, go Garen. We do know that they have a champion in hand. From that zero mana spell. Dang. For king and country. Well, we don't have very much life left.
yeah, the Merciless Hunter, but <clears throat> we have seen a lot of Um, we've seen a lot of the Curse Keeper plus Ravenous Butcher combination, which is not like a, a super common combination, right? But our last two opponents have had those two cards together a lot. That didn't work out. Everyone's a garden. Well, that didn't work out too much. Why is no nobody scared of judgment? Nobody's ever scared of judgment. We did have judgment win us a game earlier, like our, our first game of the day. Gotta stay alive. Easier said than done. Stay resolute. Le Blanc. So nine mana. If I want to keep up bloody business, that means I have five extra. So I could go LeBlanc Glory Seeker. But obviously I'd like to go Glory Seeker and Protector together. Wonder what that's about. All right, perfect mana for both Judgment and Bloody Business. You can do them both. Obviously, I can't stop atrocity at all. Like, no matter what I do, right? Like, cause if I just pass, then they atrocity, then I can stop him. You 
No, I mean, if they just atrocity, I lose. If I don't do anything, they just go to... Yeah, like, they just have atrocity. They just... Always have the perfects. Can't stop that at 11-11. Because if I, if I don't do anything, they just level up Nasus and go to Barrier. I... Really, what I needed to do was... No, that wouldn't have worked either. Yeah. I needed to not play the, the Bright Seal Protector and play the 5 1 Challenger instead. And yeah, I need to play I need to play the 5 1 Challenger instead of the, that. And so then I could have had the 5 1 Challenger plus Bloody Business. But then of course you know they probably just don't play NASA until after combat. So it's not like I could really win. NASA's pretty good. Lissandra Trundle. Okay. I haven't played against Lissandra Trundle in a while. have Bl Blighted Ravine and not Avalanche. <laughs> yeah, Avalanche. Uh, yeah, I hope they don't just have Bl have Avalanche right here. Places to go, people to be. Secrets hidden by Frost. Remember why we fight! We need to get more attacking in. So why did I say I hope it was Blighted Ravine and I was expecting my Rangers Resolve to protect these things from Blighted Ravine? Like, what was I, what was I thinking? Like, how did I expect that to work well for me? Plans within plans. We fight for those who cannot. Yeah, because that's, you know, round start, the countdown happens. This is gonna be hard. Do not embarrass me, troll. Don't really know why I was expecting anything good to happen there for me. Did we get him? 
I think we may have gotten them. Don't want to block with the Lissandra. Didn't want to block with the Lissandra. Got him. All right, one on one. Another rose for the garden. <laughs> okay. That was a good win. All right, so now we're going to the other end of the spectrum with the aggro deck with Elise. We are going to need to find earlier stuff. I'll still just keep Garen. There we go, we got a little bit earlier stuff. One drop. I know what lurks in the shadows. Uh. This isn't good. So basically spending one mana for that sharp side because we had saved three spell mana if we didn't do it, now we're saving two. Looks like that one mana was a waste because I, I I top decked LeBlanc, so I needed the four mana for the bloody business. So I should have just blocked like the four one onlooker. They're looking for frenzied skitter. Frenzied skitter messes up bloody business. And just kind of everything else. So LeBlanc will barely die. Hmm. Okay. Alright, got a fervor out of their hand. That would have been really good for the reputation though. You know, like that would have turned on reputation with two five power strikes. Oh, they got Doom Beast. Okay. Alright, GG's. Yeah, it's going to be GG's. Unfortunately. Alright, one and two. This is a deck that you can definitely go under. Like that. Lost to two decks that have just been more aggressive. We don't, our deck doesn't play very good defense. We don't really block. So I was wondering how we'd do against a really Azir, considering we don't really block, like I just got done saying, we don't really block and our, our deck doesn't really play defense. 
So probably not very well. Probably not very well. And we talked about, whenever we were building the decks at the, at, uh, the beginning of the stream, before we started playing, we talked about how this one would probably struggle against a really Azir and fast aggro. Yeah, Garen Braum regen deck. Yeah, that's that's a cool combination. Yeah, you, know, you can basically make it just like the Trundle Braum, but you can play Garen instead of Trundle. Absolutely. make the block. Oh, and you meant 10 mana Cythria. I thought you were talking about 6 mana Cythria for the top end. Our Legion drawers haven't looked spectacular. But I'll take the trade with the sparring student. I'll take that trade. Yeah, how Spider would would have helped out this with this aggro metagame more. Basically, the, the Legion Drummer is a great combo with the Glory Seeker. We just haven't had those together. We haven't, you know, been able to turn that kind of combination on at all. But that's that's really what you're looking at is a a really nice combo. I kind of think that they're going to play Pump Spell. Okay, no. I was kind of hoping they would play Pump Spell and then just Whirling Death and get a free kill. My heart and sword for Demacia. Azir welcomes all his subjects. What a treat. You seek an audience? Obviously they have retreat return. That's what they're gonna use right here. But now we're at least keeping them from being able to, like so their their plan is like to maybe retreat this thing, but they're gonna retreat the marshal. But that will keep them from I guess it could be Nopify. I guess I didn't think about Nopify, but yeah, I, with this, with this, with the one-one blocking the Garen, that's showing retreat. Stay resolute. The sun disk shines on us all. Demacia, now and forever. Sand and blood. Follow my lead. The wicked must fall. It's a great attack for me, but I might as well play Kato. It is me! 
I guess, no, because they get the plus two, plus two. They get two, three ones. If they have, like, a Doom Keeper. I think they shouldn't play Kato. The Kato, of course, I want to give the plus three, plus zero, and overwhelm to the Scythria, because it's easy for them to block Scythria. The others have the Fearsome. Okay, but that will do. Alright, so no champions for them. So, uh, but good win. Hey, Scavenger Zero. How have you been? Okay, let's get a positive record here with Garen. Soraka Braum, love it. I think Soraka Braum is pretty good. Um, yeah, I like Soraka Braum. All right, we're going to be striking. Garen's got some bloody business to take care of. Yeah, I think Soraka Braum probably does really well against Aurelia Azir. I could imagine that. History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. Okay, so that'll level up LeBlanc. And this should, you know, round start kill this thing. They'll be able to heal it once with the Star Spring. Um, but then, you know, they'll heal their Nexus for three, and then this thing will die. And now LeBlanc's leveled up. Three out of four for reputation. Dang, looks like they got not much going on over there. Bunch, bunch of spells. That's too bad. Oh, Scar Grounds also? I'm not so sure about that. That's probably getting a little too cute. Smoke and mirrors. Oh. 
guess we'll just place a three on. Demacia, now and forever. Yeah. Must add just a, a bunch of, I don't know, astral protections and things, bastions and stuff like that, I guess, or something like that. It probably looks a lot better whenever you have Soraka and Braum together. Okay, so finished up with a winning record there with Garen LeBlanc. Good three and two. Uh, we'll take it. I, this is a pretty fun version to play. It's going to kind of struggle against the super fast decks because we don't block very well as we saw with some of those games. Um, but then against the decks that aren't super fast, we won all of those. Because um, I because I think that this deck does provide some good threats. Um, you know, good beefy size threats that are kind of difficult to deal with. It hits really hard if your opponent stumbles at all. We saw that a couple of times, our opponent stumbling. Um, you know, like the Aurelia Zero opponent didn't have their champions right away. Like, they stumbled a little bit. And uh, we were able to capitalize on that. But good interaction, too. Like, Whirling Death and Bloody Business are good spells. And we saw that a lot. Like, we had a lot of fight spells. Um, so good removal um, for different champions and stuff. And then you also have the card advantage to get you in the late game. We didn't really need it too much. These games ended pretty fast, but the Whisper Words is nice for um, a Demacia Noxus deck. They usually these kind of decks don't have that kind of card advantage um, in the late game, and so Whisper Words uh, gives you that. Um, but all right, so we'll take a, a 3-2. We'll take that, right? Like if you just continue to go 3-2 and ranked all the time, if you win 60% of your games, you're going to like you're going to be doing really good. Like that's like you know, the, the best players, um, you know, like they love, love to get a 60% win rate. Like that's a really high win rate. So, um, you know, we'll take it. So there's there's Garen LeBlanc. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this version of the Garen deck, just all of our Garen decks to, uh, in general. Um, you know, how do you like the champion spotlight uh, day? Um, so far, I've gotten pretty good feedback on that. If you're enjoying it, let me know. Um, you know, we'll have another one next Wednesday where we, we will... Uh, you know, choose a random champion again. Uh, but that's going to be it here for Garen LeBlanc. So we're going to have Garen Zed, Garen Renekton coming up. Um, so hope to see you all there for those videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video. Oh no, I messed it up. 3-2, not 2-3. No. Yeah, there we go.